Hi everyone and welcome to video 6. Now first of all make sure you're loaded into your profile, your RLC game and open up GIMP. Once you've done this uh, I want you to go to GIMP, sorry. Now click on file, open and uh, I have texture packs and um, for the denim that we're going, going to be using so please find those or ask me how to, how to find them and I'll send them to you so click on desktop now in fact this is actually a backwards way of doing it go back and go onto your desktop where you've hopefully saved these um, textures and it's much easier using the image than it is using GIMP to open them because all you get is a list as you saw there now the texture I want to use is for you. It is. Use a fairly blank canvas. Uh, if you get my drift, I just quick right click and open with GIMP. The reason you want it fairly blank is because you're going to be adding a lot of detail to it, so anything else is unnecessary. So just hide that for now and then click on File Open Again. Go onto your uh, Find Your Expansion, uh, not your expansion drive, sorry, uh, Find Your Designer Kit open it, UV maps and scroll down until you when you're on the lower body, I always use a short skirt because I find the mini skirt is just a bit too short for the kind of detail in that you want to put in here and the short skirt you can uh, crop to make it look like a mini so it's a pretty good one to use generically right so open it up and as you can see the image is way too big so we want to scale that down so image scale image and always use 1024 unless you're making the likes of jewelry and stuff but that's for a later date okay bring your zoom up to 50 so that it fills the whole box go over here and click on create file okay once you're on there just go down and find the texture you've opened already right click edit copy hide that and in the meantime these are what we call alignment tools so Bring this one over on the left, over to your centre. The top ones are for the for aligning anything uh, horizontally. Not think horizontally, vertically, horizontally. Okay, now just right click and paste. Now this is way too big for what we want, so you just scale it down, making sure the chain links are closed. Scale it down to about there. And then going over to your move tool, just bring it up and just bring it just outside the actual mesh. Because then you don't have a horrible gap between your actual avatar skin and the skirt. Now zoom in to about 100. Just give you an idea so that you can see that that is right on the line. If it's not, just use your directional arrow keys on your keyboard to get it just about so. Right, now click anywhere and that hides those um, outlines. Go over to your layers and duplicate it. And now you want to flip it. Because as you can see here, we've got like two different shades of the denim because of the folds. And you want to match these up. So once you've duplicated it, just go to layers, transform, flip horizontally. And you can see that's pretty much matched that up. Now go over here and merge down. Once you've done that, duplicate it. And just drag it over or using your directional arrow keys. I tend to drag it for a bit and then just use my arrow keys to line it up correctly. And there you have it. And then you go back over, duplicate again, and click on layers, transform, flip horizontally. Now guys, uh, if you're wanting to, you could, all these tips and tricks I'm showing you in here for this little denim skirt, you can use to make jeans, jackets, you can lose, use leather textures, any texture you want. doesn't have to be denim. I just like denim because for uh, new people in that, it's much more clear and you can see what I'm doing right again. So I just flip that last layer that I duplicated. And again, you can see it's still not quite lined up. You just come down just a bit. That's it. Perfect. Now go over and merge these three layers down. Zoom back out to 50. And then on this layer, duplicate it on your move tool. Just either drag it down or use your directional arrow keys, doesn't matter which. 
go back over and the arrow key hide it underneath now duplicate again and drag that one down now don't worry about if you've got these folds that look like this because I was a bit worried about it yesterday but with the finished item it actually turned out pretty good it looked like the denim had nice little folds in it so just leave that as such and if it needs tidying up you can tidy it up later on so just go over and merge these three layers down right now what you want to do is test this because this is actually a um, now I've already got a denim skirt in here so I'm just going to overwrite that click on export, mine says replace but ignore that click export, hide that, go into your now for you, you will have to click on create outfit I don't need to because I've already got one uploaded but I'll just run through it quickly click on new style female or male, whatever you're making and if it's Leg, it's always legs for the lower torso outfits. Guys, if you're doing jeans, just pick your jeans. Ladies, as it's a skirt we're doing, we're just looking for short skirt. Now here is where some people mess up. In here, click on skin and then clothing. Add texture and then browse and then find your texture on your desktop. You see it there. Now I just need to go back because I don't need to do any of this. So I just want to go into my outfits. Just bear with me a second, guys. If any of you did start and followed me a bit yesterday, you'll do the same as I'm doing here. So all you do is go into configuration, replace, choose file, desktop, and there's your texture here. Replace it. Always name your outfits something that's easy to remember because. The, uh, that makes no difference to what you name it once you're putting it in your catalogue. Just name it something you'll remember now. I'll replace that, click on publish and test. Go into your RLC closet. And you can see that looks pretty good at now. And these little folds, when I put in the pockets and seams and stitching and all that, those will actually look pretty good. And it's lined up nicely at the back. Again, that's the whole idea of those alignment uh, tools in, in GIMP. Okay, so now we want to go back into GIMP. You can, this one, you can get rid of your texture now. Just close it down. Now what you want to do is add a new layer. Bring down the opacity of this one. Put your mesh up. And then we're going to look for another one. So... Let's just go in here, and I may have this open already. Just open up the denim texture pack that I gave you, and what we're looking for is the zipper, and that's in the, I've actually got two of those there, let me shred that real quick. Otherwise it gets confusing for me, you and me both. Just let me shred that real quick. Alright, so just right click on that, and then open with GIMP. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of nice textures here, which are which you will use. And hide that. So we want this one here with the zipper detail. So what you do is you go over, right click, and click Add Alpha Channel. Go in here and click on your uh, Rectangle Select tool. Zoom up to about 100, and then just using your rectangle. You don't have to be too tidy here because what we're looking for is just the zipper. We're not too bothered about anything else right about there. Select, invert, and then right click, cut. You can see that just gives you a nice little outline there. Come down to 50, and then on your move tool in your toolbox, just drag that over to about the center because it makes it much easier for you to work with. You know, zoom back into about 200, and grabbing your free select tool, just come over here, and just about here, just start adding your outline. Now all we want at this point is the actual zipper. We don't want any of this because we will be adding our own. So we just go down here. And don't worry about uh, these uh, watermarks because again, it's very easy to get rid of those. Once you've done your outline, just right click select, sorry, click on select, click invert, right click, cut. So you're left with just your zipper 
Once you've done that, go over to your rectangle tool, double click, and that hides that outline. So if you leave that outline there, what normally happens is either you'll get just a blank outline that copies onto your layer, or the pastes onto your layer, or um, you will get the outside part of this, and we don't want that. So always make sure you double click outside or inside. Sometimes it's outside, sometimes it's inside. Right now, what we want to do now is sharpen this. So I'm going to sharpen and just scroll about till you find your. There it is. Now I've already got my set, so just play about with this until you find the right settings. Now make it quite sharp because remember you want it quite sharp in RLC. So once you've got it in good sharpness, okay. Now it does look an awful lot, but don't worry about that. Then right click, copy, go into your main one, and on that top layer that we added, just right click, paste. Now this looks way too big at the moment, so what you want to do, bring it down a wee bit, scale it, making sure those are, the links are joined, just scale it a wee bit, because you can always change it once you've uh, gone in. Zoom up to about 100, just bring this over a wee bit, yeah, about right, click on anywhere there to remove that outline again. Go down here, bring the opacity back up and hide your mesh layer. Once you've done that, go into export to denim skirt. Then, my outfits. Now again, fellas, remember you can use these tips for making jeans or anything. And also, find your own textures on Google. Just do a search, whether it's leather, cotton, silk, satin, you name it. Replace and publish. Test out the on out avatar. Go over to my <coughs> now that's looking pretty good. I don't think I need to resize that, but I'm going to show you how to bring it take out those loads. I know you can't see them there, but you do want to take them out because if anyone zooms into your outfit they might see them. So go back into GIMP. Zoom into about 200 and grab in the hard brush. I'm going to work with the hard brush. We don't want paint, we want the blur tool. I'm on the wrong layer as you can see, so make sure you're on the correct layer. And then just drag in the denim texture into where the wording is. And I know that doesn't look very good at the moment. But trust me, once you upload it, once you see it on your actual avatar, it will look fine. Now that brush is just a bit too big, so we need to bring the size of it down to about 5, that will be fine. And then again, you just go like so. Just take out anything that looks out of place. Maybe see right there, just be very careful there. Right, and just like so. Again, just take your take your time with it. It's well worth it in the end. Now I'll go back in here and just bring the tool up to about 20. And what you want to do now is go over here and just blur out these harsh edges. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we will uh, be doing the saturation of this because as you can see, it's not the same shade as the background. Don't do the bottom because you want that to look like it is the lower part of the zipper flap. So just carefully. And as I said, fellas, you can see this can be used for making your jeans, shorts or whatever. Should do. And then zoom out a second. Yep, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So now we want to zoom back into 200 and here, back to your move tool. And here we want to be you and saturation. So on the saturation bar, just bring it down ever so carefully. 
and you can see that has pretty much brought that texture down to about the same colour. And when I apply it onto my avatar, you will see it. Right, so I'll go onto File, Export to Denim Skirt, My Outfits. My design clothing, configuration, replace, choose file, and then just find your skirt. Replace texture, publish, and test. And you can see that looks pretty good. Yep. Now, go back into GIMP and we'll close this down for now. We will be opening it up again later, but not just now. Go back into GIMP, open up your mesh, add a new layer, and bring down the opacity of this one. And go back up to the top one, making sure it's checked. Now, we want to look for another texture. So, in your folder, this is the one we want, this one with the C. So open with GIMP, right click and open with GIMP. As you can see this is huge so you want to resize this so just scale image, make sure those are connected. Bring it down to about 400 and something, I like it about 4, 450 whatever. You can see that's much better. Res oops. Resize your window just by doing that and right clicking. Now over in this layer Right click and add alpha channel. Go to your rectangle select tool, come up to your zoom. Now we want to just cut this out so that we've got that shadow on the right. This bit here doesn't really matter, you can bring it in, but just make sure you don't lose that stitching. Right? So we'll select invert, edit, cut. Now again we want to sharpen this up so in filters you should already have your sharpen option to so just do that. I know it looks a lot but trust me when you put it on it won't. Right click on copy, go back to your main outfit. Now here's where we need these upper alignment tools. So going up and grabbing one of those just bring it ever so slightly, maybe not to 200 so you can see. Just bring it to where it's just underneath. And then this one, make another one, and again, just to where it's on the line there. You find these very useful. <coughs> now making sure you're on your top layer, and you should have already copied this bottom one. Just edit, paste. You can see that's huge, so zoom that back down to 50. Bring this just down a bit. If you've got this white up here, just use your mouse wheel or whatever and bring it down, all your scroll bars. Now that is way too big, so what we want to do, we don't want to uh, adjust the height of it, we want to adjust, adjust the width. So click on those links and they'll unlock. Now using the downward arrow, just bring that down until you're happy with it. That should do. If you move to click. Now you want to sharpen this again. As you can see, now going over to your toolbox, click on your rot rotate tool. Click in here, and if that's in the way, just move it out of the way by holding down your left click. Now, we want to align this so that it's now horizontal. And you can see that's nowhere near what we want, so I'll go back up to 200. And now, sorry, I'll see, I will stop there, making sure you're on your move tool. See how because I was on that, it tried to do it again for me. So always after you've used a tool, make sure you're on your, your uh, move tool. Now go up, and as you can see, that is off center quite a bit. So all you do is click on your rotate tool, and move it out of the way, and then just using the up and down arrows, just bring it up or down until it's aligned. And that looks pretty good. Go back to your move tool. As you can see there, I moved the alignment line because I wasn't concentrating. So what I want to do is be smoothing. Always make sure, you'll see that line turn red, the red dots. Make sure 
you click on the actual texture, not those, is that can be quite a pain. It's not them. See, that's still not quite right, so just go back to your, your tape tool. Using this, just click it a couple of times. Move tool, making sure you're not on the alignment. Yeah, that's much better. If you don't get these straight, you do notice it in RLC. So now go back over to your layers tab, duplicate, and just drag that along. Don't worry, most of it goes outside, that's fine. You don't need to worry about that. Now go over, right click, and merge down. Duplicate, and then click on layer, transform, flip horizontally. Now all you do is, if you go down to 50, you will see that it's still, now see if you put 50, be very careful, don't try to do this to 50, but it's just give you an idea. Click on 100, and then just drag that across, and when you drag it, so, ah, you see, now that messed up on me. So just edit, and do move, edit, and do move, edit, and do move, drop back where I want to be, and do flip layer, and because that obviously has disappeared off the screen, just move it somewhere, anywhere in the middle or wherever and then layer transform flip and you can now see it away over here so just drag it until it's approximately see approximately where you want it to be and then zoom into your 200 again so that you can see whether it's straight and aligned properly bring it down a little bit make sure that it's okay there and that should do fine. Now go down here and on your main layer, just take your opacity back up, hide your mesh, file, export to demo. Now there's a lot of work in this, but once you get used to it and get the hang of it, you will find you can just skip through. No, I won't say quickly. Because you don't get it done quickly, but you can much faster. Configuration, replace, choose file, demo. Good texture. <coughs> Once that's done, publish and test output. <coughs> Excuse me guys, I've still got this cold. And now you can see you've got stitching at the top. Now, as that's quite thin at the front there, I'm just going to bring it down a bit. So, go over, put your mesh, lower the opacity, go up to the top, right click on the top and merge it down. And then with your move tool, just bring it down to about there. Because <coughs> even with RLC meshes, even though this is the actual top of the skirt, if you have it right on the line, you do find it tends to mess up. Again, it's all practice and you will get the hang of it. Take up the opacity, hide your mesh, to file, it's good. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And going into your profile again, my outfits. Now, I'm not going to go through all this with you again watch the videos and listen listen to me then you know what you're doing with this now because it's always the same for this part of it there are differences and I will show them to you later on please treat smile publish test out do you know how else you close it Yes, and that looks much better now. Yeah, that does look better. Yeah. I'll show you later on how to tweak this uh, so that it is right up near the back. That is just one of the foibles of the area of the meshes we have to use. Right, so next, we want to use this one again. So right click, copy, hide it, go back into here. Now, just merge all these layers that you've got down. Just 
that far. Don't merge them with this mesh down here, otherwise you are in trouble. Open up your mesh, and while you're still on the top layer of your outfit, lower the opacity from down to 50. And now we want to edit again and paste. This is the type the seams that the stitches that we just uploaded. So again, you want to make sure those are unlocked. Just bring that down to about so. That's fine. Move tool, click anywhere there. Filters, repeat, sharpen. Roll it there. See how I didn't add a layer there. So I'm going to have to go right back. See how easy it is to... But I mean, all mistakes can be corrected. So go back, create a new layer, and now you can add it. Paste. I should have actually spotted that because that was looking this bit was looking quite opaque. I wasn't taking any notice. You beg my pardon. Make sure, make sure these are unlocked. Just bring in the width out of it. That looks good. Right. So now filters. You can repeat sharpen. What you want? Rotate tool. Just rotate that to where it's about horizontal. Rotate. Bringing down another alignment key, another alignment line, bring it down to just, if you zoom in at about 100, you can see it better. Bring it down to about that line. Now, bring this down. As you can see, we've still got all this of the short skirt, but I want to make this a, a sort of shorter version, not quite a mini skirt, but shorter. So that, that's why I always use these short skirts, they're much easier to work with. Now, for that, as you can see, that's not aligned, so just using your alignment tool, bring it back into alignment. And these alignment here, you will find are a godsend, they really are. Go back to your move tool and just bring that over to about there. Duplicate it, go and make sure you're on the top layer, duplicate it, and then drag it until it's approximately where you want it. And then using your directional arrow keys, just bring it up and over. Just till it's about matched. Go over, merge down, and then duplicate again. And then layer, transform, flip horizontally. Just pull that over and it should have yet that one work perfectly. Again, just using your arrow keys on your keyboard, bring it over and up. This just means that you match it up perfectly. You can drag and drop it just till you're close to where you want to be. And then, right, so now go over to your main layer, opacity up, hide your mesh. Export, hide it. Like I say, it is a case of testing every little piece, and it's worth it. Replace, choose file, have it, replace. Publish and test. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right, so now we want to go back into this one, copy it again. You don't need to do anything with it because you've lowered the bit about with that. Go back to this one. Merge all these down again. Because the less layers you're working with, the better. I mean, once you get used to working with layers and that, that's fine. But for now, just merge them down. And again, if you merge too many, just go to Edit and do Merge Down. You can't really mess up. Open up your mesh, bring down your local opacity, and then right click, paste. Now this one, we're just going to, see, I didn't add that layer again. Edit and do paste. Create new layer. Now I can add that. Paste. You can see the difference immediately. Now you want to, you want this quite slim as well, so making sure they're open. And just bring it in like so. That should do, I think. Move tool, click, filters, sharpen. Move tool. Now you want this to be just about here. 
because we've got we've got now front front pockets and this as well as back pockets. Now as that maybe slow it down just a bit more. And as you can see, your width and height change when you remove that outer line, that out outline. So don't worry about that. As long as you're on the correct layer, you won't go wrong. Just bring that over to about there. Then duplicate and just move it down. Go too far, don't worry. Just use your directional keys. That looks a bit right. Go back over to this layer and bring up the opacity and hide your mesh. Export. Application. Replace. Choose file. And your skirt or jeans, whatever you're making. And again, guys, this works great on the seams going down the sides of your jeans um, for the lower cuffs, the waistband, the lot. Yeah. Good one. Publish. This outfit. Right, that looks pretty good. You always want to get the seam just a bit just about in the middle of the thigh, top thigh area there. You can move it over a bit if you want, depending, but I tend to like it there because then it goes with the outline of the thigh, as you can see. It's not just straight up and down. It, it's like it moves with the thigh. So, go back. All you want to do here is merge these two layers down, duplicate, layer, flip horizontally, Look at that, oh, there it is. Now, so that I can see it, open up my mesh, mesh, lower the opacity, and there we go. And you just move this one over. And then if we try to get it, so I'm going to get it just another one. Hopefully, that will work. Again, go over here, bring the opacity back up, hide that, file, export. My outfits. My design clothing. Configuration. Replace. Choose file. Choose file. Now we're going. To, I'm going to add four seams: two at the front, two at the back. So again, it's just the same thing. Good testing each one so that you see you've got it in alignment. Like so, let's have a look here. Nope, that one, as you can see, that one's not in alignment with this one. So, you go back into your again, lower the opacity, bring that up, and bring this over. Another one. The reason for that, it can't, that's why you always test, is because this part of the zipper is actually wider than this part, so it can get quite confusing. But that's why you have this alignment line, which I didn't take any notice of. So what I should have done was actually counted out from there. I'm two out, so I should have been two out there, and I just didn't take any notice. But that's well, easy done. Bring your opacity back up, hide your mesh, file, export. Replace, choose file, open, place. publish, accept. Yes, that's it, perfect now. Okay, so now we're going to work on the back ones. So again, merge all these down, just see if you're getting confused from there for now. Lower the opacity, bring up your mesh over here. Now we could have just duplicated one of those, but sometimes you find on the back that uh, 
you need to actually, and this is easy just doing it this way, add a new layer, which I kept forgetting about, remember guys? Create a new layer and then paste. So, your scale layer, making sure those are unlocked, bring that down to about so. And then your move tool, nope, sorry, yeah, you are in your move tool. Click on anywhere there, filter sharpen. Now you can see the whole idea of sharpening it so much because it brings out more of the detail. If depending on your settings in RLC, if you've got your settings set low, then it won't make much difference. But if someone looks at your outfit and they've got their settings on high or ultra high, they will notice that it's not very sharp. So it's a good idea to really sharpen things up. And move that over and then duplicate. And just drag it down using your directional arrow keys just to tidy it up. Okay. Go over, bring your opacity back up and hide your mesh. File, export. Now this one we will just duplicate, merge down and duplicate. As you can see, it's not much thinner, but it is a bit thinner because, like I say, if it's not on the backside area, especially for females, anything like that tends to get widened way out of proportion. It's just a case of trial and error, guys. Configuration, replace, choose file, and open. Publish and test out. And then just go around. And as you can see, I've moved that way too far. So all you do is go back in again. Now your mesh, lower the opacity. Merge the two top layers down and then just drag it over again. Now yeah, we'll see how that looks. Go back over, bring your opacity back up and hide your mesh. Always hide your mesh because believe it or not that mesh will show on your avatar or it will say different. Sometimes RLC messes about but sometimes uh, it will say that you cannot upload this out because it will only upset ping. PNG files. But sometimes also if your pet file is named PNG and you leave that mesh there it will show it's a black <coughs> black background with lines and you really don't want that. Now hold on, I couldn't remember if I'd uploaded that so I'll just do it again. I have it will soon tell me. No bad. Publish and test out it. And I'll see closet. And let's see how that looks. Yep, that's much better. And you can see it right there. So now you go back into GIMP, open up your mesh, lower the opacity of that one, top layer, duplicate it, layer, transform, look, horizontally. As you can see here it is here. Now where did I have it there? One, two, in. So I'm going to go over one, two, oops. I'm choosing your directional keys. Go back over, bring the opacity back up, and hide your mesh. File, export. <coughs> I think I'm going to have to get myself to the doctor and get some antibiotics. Ooh, not good. Clothing, configuration, place, choose file, place, publish, and test out the avatar. See how that looks. We should now have two nice little stitch. Yep, yeah, you can see them there. Nice little stitch lines here, and they're both lined up good. Okay, so now I want to turn around again. As you can see, I'm not bothering coming out of my back. I must go and put an AFK. 
<laughs> Deep. Now this one you can close down now because we're finished with that for now. Yeah, so what you want to do is desktop and it opens up for you. Come on. It's bizarre, I'll see it's freezing. So I've already got mine open. Now what we're looking for here is like a pocket texture. Whoops, didn't like that. We're looking for this pocket texture here. Because what we want here is just the stitching and the little stud. So we'll just hide that for now. Again, should open. Yeah. And again, this is huge. So I'm just going to scale this down to about 450-500. Scale it. You can see it disappears there. So just bring the window in so that you're not looking at huge expanse of white. And I bring this up to 200. Go over, right click, and add your alpha channel. Then you select tool. Now, what you want to do here, if you go outside there, you can see that uh, lasso disappears. Don't do that because then you've lost your tool and you have to go back and get it. So, this doesn't have to be perfect. We do want this wee bit of shadow here, so just outlining around the stitching you don't need the rest of it and don't worry about the fact that it's a different shape because again we just adjust the hue and saturation and select invert and cut right so now making sure you're on your move tool filters repeat sharpen Again, you can see that looks overly much, but it's not. Copy. Go back over here, merge all these down again. Then it saves you, as I say, getting confused. You don't need to open up your mesh for this one because you've already got everything in place here. So create new outfit, or new layer, sorry, and then just paste in. And you see that's huge. So all you do is close those links and then just scale it in until it's approximately what you want. Drag it over and as you can see that's too much. So for this I that's too thin. So all you do is unlock those chain links, bring in the width and make the height a bit more just to give it some yeah, I think it's better. And just bring that over. Yeah, that looks good. Right there. Filter, repeat, sharpen. You can see that sharpens that up nicely. And because you've got this pretty much aligned, you know from these seams here, if you didn't have the seams, you would have to uh, check the seam. So just duplicate it, layer, transform, flip. And you can see that's pretty much aligned. We just need to bring it over just a little bit. You see, you've got the nice little shadows there. And really, you don't need to do anything with these because once they're on the outfit, it will look pretty good. So, file, export. Go into your profile. My outfits. Sorry, guys, my profile is kind of freezing on me at the moment. In a second, so scroll down, my design clothing, configuration, replace, choose file, and let's go it open. And once it's replaced, publish and test it. Okay, you can see I've got nice little pockets in there now. So 
Now, now we want to add the back pockets. So all you do is close that down. If you've already got it, if you've left it open, it's much handier. As you can see, I've got some nice little denim textures here. Uh, and we want the back pocket. So, um, yes, we'll use this one for now. This one, guys, you can use for your jeans. And ladies, if you want to use this one, by all means, go ahead. I'm using this one. Open with GIMP. Okay, GIMP leaves itself. All that's happened there is the mode. So all I do is go in and check the mode, and it's okay. It's okay, and it's fine. Now I want to. Right, so go over, right click, add alpha channel, and then you don't have to be too neat when cutting out pockets because you want as much shading as possible, etc. And don't worry about where you can see this, these watermarks, because those will not show on your outfit, no matter how close someone goes because they're just so tiny and faded. Select, invert, edit, cut. Right click. Now this one you have to right click inside. Filter, repeat, sharpen. Edit, copy. I'll hide that for now. Go on to your main one. Again, merging these down. You've only got the one layer above your mesh. Open up your mesh. Lower the opacity of your top layer. And then edit paste. You see that is huge. I should have actually lowered that before. So all you do is check those links and then just juice it right down. As you can see, that's getting ready to disappear off the page. So just scale. Grab your and again I didn't add that layer, folks. You see what happens when you don't concentrate. <laughs> so click on create new layer. And while I'm here, I'm going to just reduce the size of this. So image, scale, and bring it down to about 400. Now I can edit, copy, right click. And because I've now got that top layer in there, edit, paste. That's much better. And go back in your scale tool, which is on the click there, and scale down. You want it quite a fair size to start with. And that's going to be too wide, so you just go back into your scale and lock those chain links and just bring that in like so. New tool, just move that to about there. Put there, go here, paste it on your top layer again and put repeat sharpen. Now you actually, I don't think I'm going to have to do anything with this saturation, but if you do, just go into color, saturation, and play about with the saturation until you get it about right. Okay. Yeah. Hide my mesh. File export to demonstrate. Okay. Now go to your into your closet. My design clothing configuration. Replace choose file. Have it. Replace again. Now our LC is on deck, so we'll stop again, publish, and test. And, yep, and that pocket looks pretty good. You can see it there. So all you do is go back, show you on the top layer, duplicate, layer, transform, flip. And it should be about perfect for you. If it's not, just lower your opacity, bring up your mesh, and then you can, you can come down to 50 so you can see what you're doing. And then, yep, yeah, that looks pretty good. If it's not, if it doesn't look, sorry, make sure you're on your move tool and see how that messes things up. And I'm on the wrong layer, so just edit, edit until I'm, yeah, that's fine. That should be on that top layer. Okay, so all you do is just move it a fraction until it's about perfect. 
back down to opacity. I'm actually glad I'm making all these mistakes today, guys, because it shows you that they are fixable and that you will ever we all make mistakes. And they are fixable and once you've got it. So my outfits, my design clothing, configuration, replace, choose style, then start, open, replace. Test out on our time. And I've just white spinning again. Oh, I'll see you not responding. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. And you can see I've now got my two little pockets, which are faint enough, which are a, a different enough shade so that you can see them, which is what you want because you don't want them disappearing in the texture. Okay, now we're going to add. Just close that one down, it's quite a changes. Go back into your textures pack and I want to add this nice little ripped effect. So open with GIMP. You can add the heart or any other design that you that you may find on Google. Just have fun with it. Now we we'll scale this down again because that's huge. Scale it down to about 400. Come back up to 200, no 100 will do I think. This time, all you need to do, because all we want to do is just literally get rid of these uh, stitching. So right click, add off the channel, then using your eraser tool, bring it up quite high and then just erase all around it. Make sure you leave that stitch in there. Just erase all around, just hold down your left mouse key and just erase it. All we're wanting is the thread look and that stitching. So once you've got rid of that, go back to your move tool, especially here, filters, repeat, sharpen. Right click, copy, go to your GIMP, merging down these layers again. Once you've finished with a layer, merge it down once you're happy with it, but only once you're happy with it. Opacity, create new layer, and paste. And that's way too big, but just go in here, make sure those chain links are locked. Just bring it down like so. Bring it over to about there. Bring it down just a little bit more. And then move tool, click on that. Then using your rotate tool, just rotate it a wee bit. Just a there we go. Move that up to about there. Then filter again, repeat sharpen so that it sharpens it up. Go back down here, bring the opacity back up, and then just hide your mesh layer, export, and hide this. So I'm not be using that anymore, so I just close it. Um, and close that one as well. Any that aren't relevant, just close them down. As long as you've got them saved on your desktop, you can always work with my game. Configuration. Replace. Choose file. Replace. Open. Replace. Publish. And test. Now have fun again with this, with this guys. Add your own little bits and pieces because I do... Let's see again. I do want to see what you've done at some point. And you can see that's just given a nice little nice little bit of effect there. Something different. You don't want to add that, don't. But have fun with it. And there's the finished mini skirt, guys. Okay, I'm going to log off now. And I'll catch you later.